Hey folks, welcome to the Spokane Barbecue Company. My name is Randy Howell. Welcome. Today we're going to be making fish tacos. I'm going to be using a cod on this, a little bit of cabbage, tomatoes, red onion, some really cool little sauce on top. You're going to love what you're having. It's easy, it's simple, it's something that you can make for the kids fast. It's a light dinner, so it's really delicious. It's, it's a great way to go. We're going to make it on the Blackstone today, so stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So let's get this cod started. This is a real simple, like I said, recipe to make. So we got our grill heated up. And I'm going to put that cod on there. The cod's going to cook fast. It's going to cook quick. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to this. And just kind of season up this fish a little bit. And a little bit of pepper. Just like that. Make it look good. Maybe a little bit more pepper. There we go. Now I've already got my grill heated up as you can tell. Put a little bit of oil in here. And just kind of let that cook. And it doesn't take long. Cod's a forgiving fish. like that. We're going to let that cook up for a minute. Now when we go to make this, we're going to have little six inch corn tortillas. We're going to heat those up on the grill as well. And I'm going to layer the fish in there. Then I'm going to put the uh, cabbage on top of that. Maybe hit it with a little bit of the tomato, the red onion. And we're going to drizzle this sauce on top that I made up. It's half mayo, half sour cream. You can adjust that depending on what flavor you like. And then you can uh, add well, in this one, we put lime juice, half of a lime. We squeeze that in there and some um, some other stuff. We'll get to that as we go through. But it's really good. You can add dill to it. Um, delicious. You can even add the zest of a lime, which is really going to help out that flavor. And It just kind of makes it look nice. Little speckles in there. It's great. So we're going to get this fish cooked up. We will be right back. Hey, folks. Welcome back. Appreciate you hanging out with us. So the fish is almost there. I'm just going to season up the other side. I flipped them, that kind of thing. So we'll season up the other side of this cod as it cooks up and gets all ready to become a taco. Oh, it's there. I think this one's probably there. Look at that. Super flaky, ready to go. <clears throat> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this other one cook. I'm going to get those plated up. We're going to make ourselves a fish taco. You kind of love it. We'll be right back. Hey kids, welcome back. It's fish taco time. So we're going to pull these bad boys off and start making some tacos. I'm going to shut the beast down. Just for me. Oh, that's tasty. Alright, so we got our cod all cooked up. I'm going to go ahead and get all the other ingredients set out for you. Because we didn't plan this ahead. So I should have had this already laid out. So we'll be right back with stuff laid out. Alright folks, thanks for hanging out with us today. Or today as we get organized. Because we're not. But we're going to heat up our shells and make some tacos. Here we go. So I'm just using, like I said, a 6 inch uh, corn tortilla. I'm going to put a little oil down on the black stone. Listen into that sizzle, huh? There you go. And these only just take a second to heat up. You know, just a little bit on each side to get those shells kind of moistened and heat, heated up. And then um, they'll be pliable. So once we get these going, I'm going to put some cod in there. In fact, let me cut some pieces as we speak. So I'm going to do kind of a bias cut like this. I'm going to cut this guy off down here. Kind of maybe slay. There you go. Put that guy in there. 
This guy's gonna go in one. I'm gonna make it like that. Oh, look at that. That fell right apart. Oh, these are gonna be good. Oh, that flaky cod. Look at that. Oh, that is just delicious. Mmm. Put these tortillas over. That's beautiful. So a couple more minutes on these. Well, not even a couple more minutes. A few seconds, and then we're ready to go. We'll take this guy right here. We're just gonna layer our fish in there. Something like that. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to put another little chunk right back here for this guy. And we're just going to layer some of this coleslaw in here. I call it coleslaw, but it's just cabbage. Now, you can season this. You can use red cabbage if you want to. Um, you can do what you want with it. It's, it's pretty forgiving, universal. Just kind of make it how you like it. But this is how I do it. Just like that. Let's get all these in here. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of fresh tomato in there. It's going to look good. We're going to put some fresh red onions on that. I did a small dice on the onions. I like to have smaller onion pieces on these. And a little bit of this cheese. Koja? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Just like that. And the kids are going to like it. If you can get your kids to eat fish, fish tacos are great. See how easy it is. And that's that. I'm going to add a little sauce to that. And this is that sauce I was telling you about. Sour cream, mayo, lime, lime zest. Dill. It's got a real good citrusy flavor, which is pretty tasty. There you go, just like that. Beautiful. These things are awesome. Let's try to let's get into this one and tie it. These are as good as they look. They look good. You got that nice flaky cod, salt and pepper, they're slightly seasoned. But you got that nice fish flavor in there. You got the crunch from the cabbage, that tomatoes on there, little diced onions. You got that, so you got a little onion coming after the fish. And then you got that sauce and that cheese on top. That citrus flavor from that sauce is really good. It just works well with the cod. And the tomatoes, believe it or not, comes out really well. So this is a definite home run hit. This is a great fish taco to make. Now you can use salmon if you want to. You know, kind of cut those up into chunks. You can even deep fry the fish and have a nice beer batter fish in there. Whatever you guys want to do. 
I like doing it this way. It's just lighter. Um, if you're not looking for a heavy dinner, this is a good way to go. This is awesome. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I thank you for your time. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like if you like it. Subscribe. Ring that notification bell. That lets you know whenever we make a new video. It gets uploaded. Notifies you. It says, hey, those guys have another video up. So it's something you want to do if you like it. If you don't, don't worry about it. No big deal. Awesome. Thanks, guys, again for watching. Until next time, have a great day.